guys and girls, welcome to Platform 7. I am right now at Richie Junction, uh, going on a ride to Nagar Goel. Uh, you would have guessed which train I am taking from the Tai Chi card and the uh, what do you call it, thumbnail. Uh, but still, let there be a suspense. So, this is Richie Railway Station. Um, I think it is modeled after the Rock Fort, the railway station. Uh, since it's a long weekend, it's quite crowded, so I don't know how our journey is also gonna be. But let's see. Uh, first up, we'll head in here for the ticket. We'll just go uh, in and buy tickets. Uh, an underserved train. I don't know how is the crowd. If the crowd is very high, we'll have to change our plans. Let's see. Anyway. So we just got our ticket now. Uh, this is a special ticket. It reads second class Antyodaya. It is uh, slightly different from the regular second class. Uh, it's not a regular uh, second class super fast ticket. It's printed specifically as Antioch. Huh? Let's see how different it is. The time to go into the station. We'll wait in the uh, one of the main platforms, waiting for uh, further updates on the platform. So as I was saying, we just got a ticket. Uh, uh, station is also crowded, and there were, there were few people getting tickets for Antioch there. So I don't know how is the crowd. If it is very crowded, then we'll have to cancel this plan and look at alternatives. Anyway, let's go in and then we'll think about the rest. So we have just come in. Uh, I checked on the display. It said the platform number 4. So we'll head to platform number 4 through this uh, underpass. So here is the way to platform number 4. Unfortunately, there is no escalator to walk. Fine, we'll climb up the stairs. We just came into platform number 4. It's empty at the moment. Uh, but the train is still an hour away. It's empty at the moment. Uh, I don't know how things will go once the train is announced. So folks, we are waiting at uh, Trichy. Uh, did I say which train are we travelling on? I'm not very sure. Did I say or not? We are travelling uh, by the Tambaram Nagar Goel. Antyodaya Express. Uh, this is the only daily Antyodaya Express operating in the country. Uh, this is train number 20691, Tambaram to Nagargoil, Antyodaya Express. Uh, the train is expected shortly. I was just checking. The train is about uh, 2 kilometers out, so it should be coming in very soon. It's quite ahead of schedule. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to get into the train. The signage quality at Trichy is really good. Uh, very nice signages. Uh, the signages are big and readable. Uh, they are not uh, obscure. They are well lit and readable. Uh, we are just waiting for a train. The train comes from this end. Uh, I just wanted to show you something else. Uh, we have a full moon. Yeah, in the last couple of journeys, uh, I have been seeing the moon. Uh, so. So I'm quite excited. This is my first uh, journey on board Antyodaya Express. Antyodaya or Antyodai is actually a series of trains uh, started I think in 2016. Uh, these trains are fully underserved. They don't have uh, any kind of reservation coaches. They're fully underserved and they were actually uh, designed to help uh, the um, uh, unprivileged classes, uh, the poor, to travel uh, with dignity. So. Antyode basically uh, uh, is a Hindi word uh, that uh, translates into upliftment of the backward categories. So Antyode Express was uh, started in 2016 like I said. I think it was 16. Uh, there, are, there are a few Antyode Expresses in India. Uh, this is the only daily Antyode Express operating anywhere in India. So this one operates uh, every day between Tambaram in Chennai to Nagargoel in the southernmost part of India. And uh, these coaches uh, are, uh, these are LHV, these trains use uh, LHV coaches, uh, fully underserved, uh, with uh, cushioned seating. And they have a few uh, onboard facilities like drinking water, etc. I don't know if all of them are functional at the moment. We'll check that once the train comes in. Uh, hopefully the train doesn't get very crowded uh, because it's a long weekend, as I had mentioned some time back. It's a long weekend. It's a three-day weekend. So almost all the trains that I saw yesterday were crowded. Uh, I hope it's a little better today because it's already Sunday. So let's see how it pans out uh, as the train comes in. Mm -hmm. 
that's our train the tambaram nagargoil antyodaya express coming in with the vap 7 vap 730538 of the roy bur first look uh, not very crowded there are passengers but it's not very crowded so this is the coach we are traveling in uh, since we are quite early i just managed to come out to show you the coach this is the coach uh, this is an rcf rail coach factory kapurthala built antyodaya coach there's another design uh, that is on the other side the silver one that's built by integral coach factory uh, chennai that's actually a paintless design this is a 2017 built uh, coach just check the coach number it is coach number 17 176480 17 coach number a perfectly on time departure from trichy uh, the loco just gave out its horn and So starting off from Trichy, perfectly on time, 6:15 a.m. That is the Trichy Trivandrum Intercity Express. We'll probably see the same train in Trivandrum today evening. Oh, I think I just broke a suspense. Fine. Anyway, the plan is we'll be taking this train all the way to Nagargoil, and from there I have something else in store for you. But we'll be reaching Trivandrum in the evening. So bye bye Trichy. <coughs> There's a Trichy demo shed on the right side. So that's the Trichy demo shed. This is the only demo shed on Southern Railway. view of the Trichy demo shed. I think beyond that is the coaching depot, I'm not sure. Set of brand new coaches lying there. Not brand new, brand uh, recently POH coaches. And 
this is the Tuchi coaching depot. So we're just out of Trichy. Trichy and uh, Tiruchirappalli refer to the same place. Uh, Tiruchirappalli is the actual name and Trichy is actually a short form. So this is our Antyodhya ticket. It costs Rs. 170 from Trichy to Nagargoyal and Antyodhya. Whereas for regular expresses, uh, For regular expresses, according to the UTS app, it's only 135 rupees. So there's a difference of 35 rupees, and uh, you can't book on the tickets on the UTS app yet. So you need to book it only from the counter. The guards are visible at a distance. Uh, we'll actually get close to the guards and run parallel to the guards all the way down to Nagar Goil. So after the integral, we'll have uh, uh, a few rendezvous with uh, the guards. And hopefully we'll get to capture all of them. We've got a trailblazer of a run. Uh, we are doing uh, over 100 for sure. This app shows 107, 108. So we should be doing around 105, I believe. I don't know what is the MPs of this section. Uh, we're just getting close to Manapare. Uh, we have a roughly 94 kilometer ride, I believe. Yeah, roughly 94 kilometer ride to be done in a little over an hour. Exactly speaking, an hour and three minutes. So obviously we need to fly a little bit. And that's exactly what uh, the pilots are doing. fun to run through platform like this. This was Manapare by the way.
the up and the down lines run separated for a while uh, so that's the up line going away we are on the down line So the appliance has just come back and joined. So we are just approaching Dindigal. On the right you can see the line coming in from Karur. That is the railway line coming in from Karur. We are coming in from Trichy and that line comes in from Karur. I am not sure if you can see, there is one more line beyond that. That is the line from Polachi. So to our immediate right is the up line and the line after that is the line from Karur and the line far away is the line from Polachi. Welcome to Dindigal. <laughs> Let's see if something for breakfast is available here. Departing from Dindigal, we are perfectly on time. So we did the last, uh, I mean the previous 96 kilometers and just a little over an hour. Amazing run I must say.
just departed out of the indigal we are uh, yet to pick up pace the changing landscapes and the rural countryside is what makes our indian railways travel very interesting um i would say that you need to travel by train to see the country so really need to see the country the rural country it has to be by train uh, off late uh, highways are being built on bypasses they run far away from populated places and so it's just the highway and the way here you go through a lot of uh, rural areas villages it's a really interesting experience so there is a western ghats uh, we had crossed the western ghats yesterday uh, on the last video if you check it out the uh, video from the kollam ekmore express we came across the western ghats and that's the western ghats running through ambatturai station uh, after ambatturai station uh, the tracks uh, go a little away from each other see so that you can see the other line going away the other line is the up line the up line goes away from here on we had uh, traveled in the opposite direction once uh, when we traveled on the amrita express video is on the channel we traveled on the up line on that day so up line is going away it goes around that small hill up uh, we'll go this way and the other one goes the other way The other line had a speed restriction. If I'm not wrong, this line doesn't have any. Um, we are ripping up uh, MTS. The other side of the train uh, that is behind us is actually very beautiful. We had covered that on the Amrita Express already, so I'm not repeating it. line is coming back i don't know if uh, what the usage is correct of up line coming back the up line is actually going away but as far as we are concerned it is coming back
that's the upline. Uh, the upline runs on the other side. Uh, this is the case till we reach uh, other end. Standing at the door uh, in an LHB coach, doing it, uh, doing a hundred km per speed is not easy. It is not safe either. So the up line is to our left, uh, which is unusual on Indian railways. I'd explain the concept and uh, the reasons behind this uh, in my Amrita Express video. I recommend uh, watching the Amrita Express video once. Uh, in any case, I'll leave a little bit of comments uh, in the description so that you understand why this has happened. RC uses this kind of uh, a handrail design. This is actually uh, very big. Uh, it feels a little different to hold, and I think it's a little more comfortable to hold as well as compared to the ICF ones. It's actually a very long rake as well, uh, a mixture of colors, uh, all the liveries are there. We are just approaching Sholavandan station. So that's Sholavandan station. The Madurai Parni Express Special is coming in. We have just finished the speed restriction and we have started picking up pace.
approaching Madurai. Kodal Nagar is a state just before Madurai. river by guy Crossing over, uh, I think we are being sent to platform one. Departing from Madurai perfectly on time. We had arrived about four minutes before schedule. Uh, we are now departing perfectly on schedule.
the lone lawyer goes about his job. There is a line to Thaini, the one that we had covered on our last visit to Madurai. So we've just uh, left Madurai. Uh, uh, the line from Madurai to Tirumangalam is a single line. Uh, they have leveled the land on the right side for uh, laying the second line, but nothing has happened out of here. We have entered double line territory. Um, after the Ramangalam, it's double line. Arriving at Birudhanagar, we were here yesterday. The P4 is lying there since yesterday, so I think that's a breakdown. Probably go went bad, went tech. So we just arrived at Virudhanagar. Perfectly on time departure from Virudhanagar. We were here about uh, 
three, four minutes ahead of schedule. We came at nine one. We're supposed to be here only at nine five. Just out of Virudhanagar, um, the three tracks, the one on the extreme right is the one that goes to Sengote. That's the Sengote line uh, turning off. Do remember to watch uh, my video from the Sengote Madurai journey. It was shot yesterday.
We just arrived at Kovilpatti. Kovilpatti is famous for chickies. Waiting at uh, Kovilpatti, we reach a little too early. So this is our coach. This is the RCF uh, design, the old Antyodhya design. And uh, this is the uh, ICF uh, paintless design. Uh, this is uh, it's entirely sticker there are no paints we have a crossing there's some train coming on the other side let's go in and watch there's a wagon line coming with an express that's a bilai wagon line with the nagar goel coimbatore express The board still reads Nagar Goel Coimbatore Mangalore, but uh, Coimbatore Mangalore is now on a different rake link. So I don't know what's this. It's uh, dry land after Kovil Patti, really dry. There are a few hillocks in the background. Uh, doubling work is happening on the left side of the existing alignment. Existing permanent way is the right word to use. So doubling is happening. Uh, but on the railway map it has shown us a double line. It is not a double line, it's uh, doubling is still in our progress. But they have completed wiring for electrification.
There are plenty of windmills in this region and there is one being erected here. We have pulled over into Kadambur for a crossing. Interesting, uh, it's double line from here on. So we didn't stop, uh, we just slowly moved over to the second line. So moving on to the second line actually, uh, we've got uh, the green advanced starter. And the train that we were supposed to cross is waiting for us outside. That's the Guruvayur Chennai Egmore Express. That is the Guruvayur Chennai Ekmar Express. Approaching uh, Maniyanji Junction, uh, Wanji Maniyanji Junction actually. Uh, the station is named after uh, freedom fighter uh, Wanji Nadan. It is uh, the junction from where the railway line to Tutukudi, Tutikoran, turns away from the, uh, you can call it the main line. The 
really really hot absolutely hot out here so this place is located in tootukudi district so this is vanchi uh, maniachi station i think these are new platforms So this is uh, the station. That's the new station building. We got a red out here. I don't know what's the matter. Not sure if it is another crossing. Vanchi Maniachi Junction change here for Tutukaran and Tirunelveli. I think this is the old station building, a lovely old building. Uh, this is railway line is also part of the original uh, lines laid by the British. So perhaps this station building is also the same vantage, vintage. This is a vegetarian light refreshment stall. starting off from maniachi after the unscheduled break i'll just show you the old building Those uh, railway lines go to Tutikaran or Tutukudi. So this is a line to Tutikaran. They have a small uh, bypass line, a cord line, but I think that's used only by freighters. It's not used by passenger trains, to the best of my knowledge. So this line, the small one, is the cord line. So this is the cord line, bypass line. hot and fresh body we'll see how it is we are in a place called talayuttu and looks like uh, the points men are getting ready to couple that wagon 
that's an industrial locomotive coming in So simple, huh? We also got our starter.
so departing from Tirunelveli perfectly on time uh, you remember I had shown these stations from the ground um, we were here in December I invite you to watch uh, my video from the Tirunelveli Sengote route we had departed from the platform at that end the last platform so bye bye Tirunelveli So this is the line on the right to Sengote. So passing over river Tamarabarani There's an entire rake on the curve So this is river Tamarabarani So the line on the left goes towards Tirichandur. So this is the Tirichandur railway line, the Ternal Valley Tirichandur railway line. If you notice the milestones on our line reads 362, whereas the Tirichandur line reads 1. So Tirichandur line's uh, kilometrage is from Ternal Valley. Whereas Trivandrum Divisions, ah, I forgot to say that we have just entered into Trivandrum Division. So this 362 that you see is uh, from Ernakulam Junction via Kottam. So we have officially entered into uh, 
ट्रवांडम डिवीजन द रेस्ट ऑफ द रन इज इन ट्रवांडम डिवीजन द लैंडस्केप इज स्लाइटली चेंजिंग एज वी आर गेटिंग क्लोजर टू दिनसुला arriving at the penultimate stop of the train valliyur So folks, this is the interiors of uh, the Antyodhya Express second class setting. Uh, the regular cushioned um, seat. Uh, I mean, the cushion is very thin. The uh, back support is not very good. Uh, it seats four on uh, either side, so four on the left and four on the right uh, to make up for eight seats. And then it's got the routine uh, single seats on the side. There are the routine single seats on the side. Mm. Another thing is that the the upper luggage rack is uh, cushioned, so usually people use it to sleep. Uh, people who are healthy who can jump on top of it to use it to sleep. Uh, there is the charging sockets available and uh, a hook to keep your uh, luggage properly. That's it. Very basic, uh, simple interiors. Uh, nothing much. Of course, there is the ubiquitous Indian Railways fan. Uh, three of them, as usual. Uh, there are three fans. Uh, the coach is well lit, and 
these windows, uh, like I said, they don't have a shutter. They only have a glass uh, closure. They don't have the serrated shutters. So basically, if you close the windows, it can get very hot. Uh, because generally, people tend to close only the shutters so that there's a little bit of air circulation um, and it doesn't get hot. These kind of coaches are fine in winters up north, uh, but in the south, it could get uh, really, really uncomfortable. The next coach is a is an ICF built one. Uh, this one has a shutters. The interiors are very familiar, very similar. Uh, this one has got the shutters. So there's a glass and then there's a shutter. So these serrated shutters are of uh, very good use during the rain and uh, during the rain and summer in uh, the south. And it also has the glass shutters. So. You can either use the glass or the uh, serrated shutter as uh, needed. So this is ICF built one. Uh, the interiors are the same. It is a uh, very similar. I'll not say same. Uh, they are very similar. They also have uh, cushioned uh, luggage racks and uh, other stuff. It's a windmill farm out here. You can see. Uh, uh, literally hundreds of them. All sizes and shapes of them. This is Aralbai Muri. I think that is a new station building being constructed. We have diverted onto the older one. So the hills that we were seeing have now shifted to the left. This, this is Aralbai Muri. I don't know if that is visible. Uh, there is a sculpture of uh, Jesus Christ. That is Devasahayam Mount, um, a Christian pilgrim center of uh, Devasahayam Pillai, who was uh, recently anonized as a saint. So that place is uh, referred on Google as Devasahayam Mount.
So this is the bypass cabin. Sorry, the bypass line. I'm saying about the cabin. It's the bypass line. This line was built to help trains avoid reverse at Nagpur Junction because the train comes from Nagpur side and needs to go to Tirunal Valley. It needs to reverse at Nagpur. So this cabin basically helps avoid that. And these are the lines from Trivandrum to Nagarwell. Folks, stay tuned. I have a video coming up from the Nagarwell Trivandrum line very soon for you. I know you would have guessed already because I'm. If I've reached Nagarwell, I need to go back. Certainly, right. So these lines go towards uh, Trivandrum, and uh, we have. Reached Nagargoil Junction Station. So we're just entering into Nagargoil Junction Station. The train on the right is a Nagargoil uh, Kottayam Express. So welcome to Nagargoil Junction. Ah, uh, na 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 na. The trip is not yet over. Uh, we'll go up ahead, have a look at the loco, and then we'll sign out of this video.
So this was our train and this was the loco. This was the loco that worked our train 30538. It's been shut down and turned off the day. So we have arrived at Nagargoil, end of this long Antyodhya journey. We travelled over 300 kilometers in underserved in Antyodhya Express. So we are just about to exit the station. I will show you the station building from outside as well and then we will close this video. So this is Nagargoil station. So here ends our journey. Uh, the journey uh, it doesn't end actually. This trip ends, uh, but uh, there is more in the series. We have uh, one more amazing journey left in the series. So I hope to have your company on that as well. Uh, thanks a lot for joining on this trip today. Uh, I am always uh, thankful to all your support that you have extended till date. Anyway, thank you for joining me on this journey today. See you again in the next journey. Until then, bye-bye.